know, climate change is a really big issue for us, you know, the young people and children of Kiribati. And we always ask ourselves, uh, what is the future for us, you know, as a people? We are the friend of the friend line, and we want the world to listen to what is happening to us. Our islands are really very low and narrow, but it's not only frightening storms. We've had no rain for many months, and the drinking water in a lot of our wells has become salty. You can't drink it. <laughs> Most of our food and protein comes from the reef, but the rising temperatures have begun to destroy them. You know, as young people who will be leaders of tomorrow, you know, we're not just sitting around doing nothing. You know, we're trying to do something about this issue. Young people from different churches and organizations have been holding workshops on many of our islands. <laughs> Using our culture is a good way to spread the message. Climate change was predicted many years ago in this song. This frigate bird has left her nest to gather food for her young. When she returns, she finds that her homeland has disappeared beneath the waves. It's really important for our people to have information. If they don't understand what's happening, it really upsets their feeling, they worry. The people from UNICEF invited us to come and look at a new website called UNICEF Pacific. And you can click on that and there's more on Kiribati. It's actually Facebook and it's a really good way of sharing information. Climate change issues. And the also when you can upload your photos. I learned how to convey message through using Facebook and to show to other people what is exactly being experienced by people in Kiribati. It's a really good idea, but the problem is that very few people here have access to the internet, especially on the outer islands. That's something we really need here. I hope it happens soon. I, I think it's absolutely essential that uh, we do give a lot of attention to the, uh, the role of the children in, this, um, in the whole process. Um, it is, after all, about the future that we're talking about. So I think we are robbing our young people of their uh, opportunity. Those countries that continue with business as usual are actually hurting the future of the young people. The young people are absolutely essential, and hopefully they will be able to do better than uh, the current uh, generation of leaders in looking after the planet. Yeah, what? Yes, I, I've been very impressed by the the role that a lot of the young people have taken. I think it's important that they continue to, 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 um, to speak to world leaders. <laughs> Our young people are perhaps one of the happiest on the planet. And I think it's uh, such a pity that they are enjoying life here, but they, without their knowledge, it's actually being destroyed from somewhere else. And um, uh, as a leader, I, I do hope that the world community will listen to what we're saying because we are talking about young people. We're talking about real hum human, human beings whose lives are at stake, whose future as a people are at stake. And um, once again, I appeal to the international community to not to continue to negotiate over it, but actually do something about it concrete. One, two, three, four. Turn down the heat, yes. Turn down the heat, come on. Turn down the heat, yes. Turn down the heat, come on. Well, I've seen it in the papers, see it on TV, oh yeah. Our brothers and our sisters have been swallowed by the rising sea. Get out of the kitchen if you haven't had the message for you just ain't listening. Get out the car, let your feet start talking. Turn off the telly and just stop talking. Turn off the aircon and open the window. It's up to us now. Where we want to go? Everybody's talking about the weather. Don't you know we're in this together? We might have to do without. Yeah, we're going to work this out.